is the Tom Hartman Program. Mark, you're on the air from Seattle. Hi, this is Mark Taylor Cantle. I'm Executive Director for Democracy Watch News. And I wanted to let people know that the Seattle City Council just passed a resolution last week calling for a ceasefire in the Israel-Gaza war. The measure was introduced by Council Member Shama Suwant, and it passed with three abstentions, which means three of the council members actually declined to cast a vote. But I testified in favor of the ceasefire resolution as executive director, and I cited statistics on the number of journalists killed and wounded. According to Jody Ginsburg, president of the Committee to Protect Journalists, an international advocacy group for reporters, this war is the most dangerous conflict for journalists since the group began keeping records over 30 years ago. According to CPJ, which has done great work on this issue, 57 journalists and media workers were confirmed dead with close to a dozen other reports so far unconfirmed. And this number includes 50 Palestinian, four Israeli, and three Lebanese reporters. 11 journalists were reported injured. Three journalists are missing. 19 journalists have been arrested. There have also been numerous assaults, threats, cyber attacks, censorship, and killings of family members of journalists. CPJ is also investigating numerous unconfirmed reports of other journalists that have been killed, missing, detained, hurt, or threatened, and also damage to media offices and journalists' homes. Mark, Some estimates are as high as 67 journalists that have been killed. Well, I appreciate it. I, I appreciate the numbers. It's, it's well, I guess I don't appreciate them. I appreciate you tracking them. It is the numbers, are of course, horrifying. 